Atlanta, Real Housewives of New York, Real Housewives of New Jersey, Real Housewives of Beverly Hills, Real Housewives of Orange County, Real Housewives of Miami, I think I, I covered all of them. But on these shows, even though you know that production sometimes aids on conflict and some things are a bit staged, but there are moments where you really see like real moments from they're people, but the characters really. And I think the things they do are reflect what we do, even though we like to think. I, when we watch, it's a bit of shock because we think our lives aren't that messed up. <laughs> but if we look at it, sometimes they really are. <laughs> and so one of the ways these shows mirror our lives are specifically Real Housewives, our geographic tendencies. So the Real Housewives in Atlanta all, most of the castmates are African American, and Atlanta is largely populated by African Americans. And then Beverly Hills, those women are legitimately super wealthy, and it's really interesting to see the Latino, you never see that. And then New Jersey has, their castmates are of Italian descent, so there are, is some stereotyping, but there is some truth to that too. And another way, I think the biggest way, are interpersonal relationship dynamics, so the way the mothers relate to their daughters on the show, and the familial, I don't know, do any of you guys watch these shows? No? No, I've seen it Do you guys watch any reality TV? I just watched the Jersey Shore. Well, that too. Um, with that, I think you see gender roles, and you analyze gender roles. like with the 
stereotype maybe to the ethnic groups that's not okay. I don't, but it's, since I haven't visited all these places, I can't tell for myself. But I'm still thinking that through. But another thing, oh, like another thing about reality TV. What I find really interesting is how they can take, because even though their lives are more interesting, they're still kind of boring. And so the producers have to take all this footage they get and construct a story out of that. So I think it's also a, a, a really unique way of building a story. Since with scripted TV, you come up with it as it goes. With this, you have to work with what other people are giving you. And that's really interesting from the production. Are any of you guys interested in movie production?
real issues and people are laughing and it's not it's not fun anymore when it comes to those shows. I do watch toddlers and tiaras and my big fat American gypsy wedding. But I I watch the lot of judgment I guess, so I don't they're still entertained but it's still like I really feel for the kids and I wish people were more self aware. So do you draw a line between real TV and reality TV? Do you think they're very different? Well, like real TV as in shows like Mad Men and... Well, as in like toddlers the different and tiaras types of reality TV. these kids are obviously okay. just being themselves. They're kids they don't know any better, you know? Yeah, I do. Th there is a line drawn. So I know a and &E, I don't know if you guys know the shows by Network, but I know by Network. They have Intervention, and they also have a show where they take Atmos to prisons and then you get to watch what happens as they freak out and learn, hey, maybe I should go to prison. And the ones where they do the intervention and um, shows like Cops or anything really people getting arrested, I don't, like, that's, that's, the other shows are real, but that's, those issues seem like really, like, private issues, not issues that should be shared with everyone. But with Real Housewives, like the familial issues, like you shouldn't air your families or your laundry to everyone, but it's like things that a lot of people have in common, and people probably aren't going to die from those issues. So, and also shows, I don't know, like you, the one where people caught shrimp, it was on Discovery Channel. I know someone actually died on that show. So, anything where that gets too real. Anything involving death or like, you know, no. Do you think that people on reality TV shows are trying to um, portray their lives in the same way that dramas portray the characters? Like, do you think that they try to make it look like that? I think both from the producer end and from their end, some of them know their role is I'm going to be the troublemaker and I'm going to cause problems up that they, they want attention for themselves and I guess they want to be hired on for next season. And at other times it's you can tell it's the producers they're because you're it's and you know they're manipulating you but your feelings for each character changes drastically each season. So one season you really like her then the next season you think, oh wow, I hate her. I can't believe she did that. And you know it's the editing and you know it's also them too. So it comes from both perspectives. So the characters some of them are oblivious, but some of them, they're playing the game, and they know that they should, they know their role. And it's a weird mix of, they're a real person, and they have families, and they're doing real things, but then they're also acting as themselves, but a more exaggerated version, I guess. But we might have probably do that in real life, too, in some instances. Thank you.
think she's really she's really cute. I like her, but I would just feel bad that everyone else would. So so dumb. Thanks, you guys.